Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Gyan Kalyan. In this video, we are going to discuss about the first chapter of the English book of class 10th, that is first flight, written by a Mexican author named G L Fuentes. Aaj hum yahan lesson kore bolo isu English kitab aur pratham to lesson jar naam a letter to God. Likhi se ajo Mexican lekhok hai naam G L Fuentes. So before going to the chapter in details let us learn or discuss a little about the title of the lesson that is a letter to god a letter to god isn't it very funny and strange do we ever write a letter to god definitely not we write letter to our family members to our relatives to our friends and so and so but we have never written a letter to god but in this lesson we are going to learn about a farmer whose name is lancho he writes a letter to god why we shall learn when we will read the lesson in details as a whole lancho is a very optimistic farmer and whenever he falls in any problem he believes that the problem will be solved god will solve his problem therefore He writes a letter to God when he faced had when he faced a problem and he expected a reply from God. Ta mane Lancer Bhagobanor poti bahut aakha asil aru bahut bishwas asil. Teo jetia kunu bipodot porisil teo bishwas asil je Bhagobane ta kene bake uddhar koriboi. Aru edin jetia teo kiba ta bipodot porile teo ki korile teo Bhagobanole ta sithi likhile. Aru भाले और विश्वास करगवान निश्चय चिठिर उत्तर दी चेप्टर तो लिखा सो टू सी वेदर गड रिप्लैज टू हिज लेटर और नट लेट्स बिगिन आ चेप्टर द हाउस द ओनलि वन इन द एंटायर वेली सेट ऑन द क्रेस्ट अफ अ लो हिल क्रेस्टर अर्थ तो तुम लोग पारिशा टप अफ अ हिल सो लैंडर हाउस तो गोटे वेली अकशरिया घर आगे घर ना और लैंडर घर तो अवस्थित आपर पहाड़ ऊपर अंश फ्रम दिश हाइट वन कूड सी द रिभार एंड फिल्ड अफ रईट कर्ण डटेड उथ द फ्लवर्स देट अलवेज प्रमिस्ड अ गुड हार्वेस्ट लैंडर घर ऊर रोले देख पाँच खूब धुनिया नई बै गई से खूब धुनिया के तक पका धान खेती होते फूल तक फुल खेती तो देखिले गम पा जाए खूब धुनिया खेती हम दलि थिंग दर्थ नीडेड वज अ डाउनपोर और एटलिस्ट अ शावर थ्रु आउट द मर्णिंग लैंड शो हू निउ हिज फिल्स इम इंटिमेटलि हेड डान नाथिंग एल्स बट सी द स्क टूवर्ड्स द नर्थ इस्ट भल खेती हम बरखुण खूब प्रयोजन ठीक एक लैंडर खेती तो बरखुण खूब प्रयोजन और लैंडर एक्सपेक्ट कर बरखुण अति सोकाले और खेती तो खूब धुनिया के फसलबूर हम सीकार रात उत्तर पूब फाले चाहिए मैं आकाशर उत्तर पूब फाले चाहिए और आशा कर मेघ देखा दी तक और तार पास बरखुण हम Now we are really going to get some water, woman. Lancho, they are wife of Koise. Woman, mane Lancho wife. Now we are really going to get some water. Ta mane woman of Koise. So ami sake the khub hunkale borokhun pam. Ta mane borokhun dibo. He is telling to his wife that I think it is going to rain very soon. The woman who was preparing supper replied, "Yes, God willing." वाइफ रात भात बन और भात बनाते बनाते कैसे है भगवान विचार निश्चय बरखुण हम द ओल्डर बज हू वेर वर्किंग इन द फिल्ड वाइल द स्मर वन वेर प्लेंग नियर द हाउस आंटिल द वुमेन कल टू देम कम फर डिनार लैंडर घर डांगर ला आर ला आ लैंडर डांगर लाबूर खेती कम कर ऊरते खेली आ और तैयार मा के तमें लैंडर वाइफे मातिले कम फर डिनार डिनार इज रेडी खाने तुम लोग भात खाज हो गल 
It was during the mill that just as so Lancho had predicted, big drops of rain began to fall. So Lancho jane ke predict kori sil thik tene ke ki hul khub dangor ke borokun ata hil. In the northeast, big mountains of clouds could be seen approaching. So northeast or fala dekha kol ki dangor dangor daor ahi se. Ta daor ahi se mani borokun hubo. So the rain was fresh and sweet. Jane ke borokun har agumhur tar bata haza khub thanda hoya hai. Khub dhuniya ta bata hoya hai. Thik tene dar hai Lancho or gul. घर फलो बता जा खूब मीठा हो या सिल फ्रेश हो या सिल The man went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, "These are not raindrops falling from the sky; they are new coins. The big drops are ten cent pieces, and the little ones are five." So कोनू कारण नहीं तो था भी वो लंच हो कि कोई ना घर और बाहर उलाई गुन उलाई गोई पे ना तो बोरो खुन तो अनुभव कोई बोला गया तो ऐने लगी सिल जेन हेबूर असल तो बोरोखुन और टुपाल नहाए, है कि नहीं? न तो न तो मुद्रा पड़ी है सिर्फ पौर पर, और डांगोर मुद्रा बुरोक तेरा तुलना करी से टेन सेंट पीसेस और लगात, और खोरु बुरोक तेरा द लिटिल वांस वेर द फाइव पीसेस, सो तेरा क्यों ऐने को कोई से तेरा क्यों नहीं बोरोखुन और टुपाल बुरोक न्यू when the rain drops will fall on his harvest they will produce a very good and fine quality crops then he can sell those crops in the market and then he will get, gain good amount of money so that's why he thought that actually this rain drops were not rain drops but actually they were coins falling from the sky With a satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers draped in a curtain of rain. With a satisfied expression, that means with a happy expression, Lancho was very satisfied. खूब फूटी रसे है दिन Lancho, because it began to rain. So he, he with his satisfied expression, what happened? He welcomed the rain very happily, and he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flower draped in a curtain of rain. So his Field seemed as if it was the entire field was covered with a curtain of rain. Curtain means that porda, rain or porda. Borukhon or porda is an good thing. Field to dhakia se draped. Draped means you can see the meaning that is covered. But suddenly, a strong wind began to blow, and along with the rain, very large hailstones began to fall. But suddenly, the situation turned. Dale ghogol sab ki hol. जे रेनर लगे लगे खूब डांगर धुमुहा धरले और बरफ टुकुरा आरम्भ हल शिल आरम्भ हल दिश ट्रुलि डिड रिजेम्बल निउ सिल्वर कॉन्स इवेन देन लाचो वज भेरि हेपी हि फेल्ट एज इफ दिश हिल स्टोन वेर एक्चुअलि सिल्वर कॉन्स द बज एक्सपोजिंग डेमस अफ टू द रेन रेन आउट टू कलेक्ट द फ्रज एंड पोल्स लैंचर लोरा बोरो वेरी दे वे वेरी हैप्पी खूब हुकी हो ऐसे लोग लोग एबोर्स साइड पे ने और तालो की कोई ले लोग लोग बाहर ले उलाए गए और गोए पे ने बुतोली बोला गिले ये होरू होरू फ्रॉजन पर्ल्स पर तालो के बुतोली बोरे आराम हो गोरी ले इट्स रियली गेटिंग बैड नाउ एक्सक्लेम्ड द मैन हु इज़ द मैन हियर डेफिनेटली If it rains too heavily for more hours, his entire field will be destroyed. Lancho knew that. But what happened? It did not pass quickly. But the rain did not stop. Borokun to roi joana. Borokun diye asil. For an hour, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. A ghanta dhori gutte hail stone hoy thakil hoy thakil tar gutte ghor. Garden, hillside, cornfield, gutte valley took hailstone abori thori. Sob phale. The field was white, as if covered with salt. Field to dekhi na ane kwa lagi sil. Jen gutte field to kunu ba ni mok sotiya rakhi sil. Not a leaf remained on the trees. Gosot etao pat na thagil. The corn was totally destroyed. Gutte khetin ostro hagol. The flowers were gone from the plants. गुटे गोसर फूल बुर होरी पोरील लैंचो सोल वास फील विथ सैडनेस लैंचो ते खूब दुखित होय गुल व्हेन द स्टॉर्म हैड पास्ड ही स्टूड इन द मिडल ऑफ द फील्ड एंड सेड टू हिज सन्स ए प्लेग ऑफ लोकस्ट वुड 
हैव लेफ्ट मोर देन दिस सो लोकस्ट यू कैन सी द मीनिंग ऑफ लोकस्ट लोकस्ट मीन्स इंसेक्ट विच फ्लाई इन बिग स्वर्म्स there is groups and destroy the crops so lancho he, after the rain passed he said lancho stood in the middle of the fields you can see the picture he was standing in the middle of the field and he said that a plague of locust would have left more than this the hail has left nothing now lancho was very sad said he said that the the hail has actually left nothing left nothing means the entire crop was destroyed This year we will have no corn. So Lancho was so upset, so sad that he said that this year we are going to have no corn. That night was a sorrowful one. So that was a very sad night. Khub dukhorata nikha katil he nikha. All our work for nothing. Lancho was telling to his family that all our hard work efforts had gone in vain. There is no one who can help us. So now Lancho was telling to his family and also to himself that actually now there is no one who can help us. We will all go hungry this year. So Lancho was telling to his family that this year we all will go hungry because there will be no crop. The rain, the hailstorm has destroyed everything. So he will have, they will have no crop this year. They, he cannot sell his crops, and as a whole, he will have no income. And that's why he says to his family that this year we will have to go hungry. But in the hearts of all who lived in that solitary house in the middle of the valley, there was a single hope: help from God. I mean, agote paisu se gutte valley to landsho ghoro bahir o tar onno belak kuno ghor nasil. Tar mande tar belak kuno poryal nasil. So kuno kaku help kore bo para avasthat nai. কোনো তাত নাই হেল্প কৰিব কোনে কাক হেল্প কৰিব কোনো নাই লেনচো ওয়াজ অল এলোন বাট সবৰ মাজত লেনচো ওয়াজ হেড এ ফার্ম বিলিভ দ্যাট তেওঁক এজনে হেল্প কৰিব পাৰিব এণ্ড হু ওয়াজ দ্যাট দ্যাট ওয়াজ গড আমি আগতেই পাইছোঁ যে লেনচো ওয়াজ এ ভেৰি অপটিমিষ্টিক ফাৰ্মাৰ এণ্ড হি অলৱেজ হেড ফেথ ইন গড দিছ টাইম টু হি বিলিভড দ্যাট গড উইল সেভ হিম ফ্ৰম দিছ ডেঞ্জাৰ ফ্ৰম দিছ মিজৰি ডোন্ট গো ডোন্ট বি সো আপসেট even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger now lancho began to console himself as well as his family he was telling to himself and his family that please don't be upset tumalke kono upset hoy na thakiba even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger so lancho nijor gote family console kori asile je tumalke iman dukh no koriba karon eta kotha hole monot rakhiba je bhukhot koneo mori na jay koneo bhukhot no more so he was consoling his family in this way all through the night lancho thought only of his one hope the help from god whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything even what is deep in one's conscience so to gutte nikha lancho eta kotha bhabi thakile je bhagwane teo nischoy help koribo help of god bhagwane teo help koribo aru teo sada etu kotha huni aisil je bhagwanor sokue sob dekha pai যিবোৰ বস্তু আমাৰ মনৰ ভিতৰত চলি থাকে ডিপ ইন ওৱান্স কনচাইন্স সেইবোৰ ভগৱানে দেখা পায় ইউ কেন চি দ্য মিনিং অফ কনচাইন্স এণ্ড ইনাৰ চেন্স অফ ৰাইট অৰ ৰং চ' লেনচো বিলিভ দেট ভগৱানে নিশ্চয় তেওঁৰ দুখবোৰ দেখিব আৰু তেওঁ লেনচক সহায় কৰিব লেনচো ওৱাজ এন অক্স অফ এ মেন ৱৰ্কিং লাইক এন এনিমেল ইন দ্য ফিল্ডছ বাট ষ্টিল হি নিউ হাউ টু ৰাইট চ' লেনচো ওৱাজ এক্সুৱেলি a very simple person who was not very educated but he was an ox of a man working like an animal in the fields that means he was a very hard working farmer he was very dedicated to his work and he knew how to write the likhi was anisil the following sunday at daybreak he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail it was nothing less than a letter to god নেক্সট দিনা দেওবাৰ দিনাখন কি কৰিলে লেঞ্চো এটা লেটাৰ লিখিলে লেটাৰটো লিখি তেওঁ টাউনলৈ গ'ল টাউনলৈ গৈ লেটাৰটো মেইল বক্সত দি দিলে জানানে লেটাৰটো তেওঁ কালৈ লিখিছিল তেওঁ লেটাৰটো লিখিছিল এ লেটাৰ টু গড ভগৱানলৈ তেওঁ চিঠি লিখিছিল আমি পাইছিলোঁ নহয় তেওঁ ভগৱানলৈ চিঠি লিখিছিল লেঞ্চো এইটো কাম কৰিলে গড হি ৰট ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট হেল্প মি my family and i will go hungry this year i need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again and leave until the crops come because the hailstorm dot 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 
so the meaning of pesos you can see here the currency of several latin american countries so what did lancho write in the letter he wrote to god that to god be, uh, before writing the letter he of course addressed to god and then he wrote on the envelope that if you don't help me then my family and i will go hungry this year jodi apuni jodi amak sahay nokore then hole am moi aru mur family ebar gutei family bosor tu hungry hoy thakibo lagibo bhukot thakibo lagibo i need a 100 pesos in order to saw my field again to mur 100 pesos or khub joruri khub dorkar apuni mok 100 pesos dile he moi mur field tu ako thik thak ke harvest koribo parim aru next crop ahaloke ami thakibo parim ami basi thakibo parim because the hail storm ar gote bostu tu explain korile so it has been written as dot 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 so he wrote to god on the envelope envelope or upor ta likhile to god aru put the letter inside and still troubled went to the town tar एनवेलप टू गड बी एड्रेस लेटर तो लिने टाउन गल एट दोस्ट अफिश हि प्लेस्ड अ स्टाम्प अन द लेटर एंड ड्रप इट इन टू दिल बक्स तो पोस्ट अफिश गई पे लेटर तो ऊपर स्टाम्प लगाले लगने मेल बक्स चिठी तो पेल One of the employees, who was a postman and also helped at the post office, went to his boss, laughing heartily, and showed him the letter to God. Now, the postman, when he received the letter, he immediately went to his boss, that means the postmaster, and showed him the letter. That means the postman, when he received the letter, to see the email box, so that they are going to log the postmaster or whoever the goal, or go up in it, they will see the letter. And they will see the letter to see the postmaster. Because they will see the letter to see the postmaster. Because they will see the letter to see the postmaster. To God. So never in his career as a postman had he known that address. He postman zone, ni jo career ro kuno ane ko address dakh sini na pa, jod Bhagwan thake. The postmaster, a fat, amiable fellow, also broke out laughing. The postman was a fat and amiable man. You can see the meaning of amiable in the extreme right side of your page. That is amiable means friendly and pleasant. So the postmaster was a very fat and amiable person. So when he read the letter addressed to God, he also broke out laughing. But almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk, commanded, "What fate! I wish I had the fate of the man who wrote this letter." And starting up a correspondence with God. So. When he read the letter, when the postmaster read the letter, initially he laughed. Letter to dekhar logo logo postmaster the khub hahi le. Kintu tar logo logo the on serious hoy bol. Or serious hoy the on kolle. Je what fate? Kiman bissak manusono Bhagwan or brat? I I wish I had the fate of the man who wrote this letter, starting up a correspondence to with God. Now, who is it? I wish. Now, now, be sure. Now, wish. Who is it? I wish that I also had the fate of the man who wrote this letter. Now, who? Ah, sorry. Who is it? Our logo. That they are who. Hal pay is it? Surprise. Who is it? Je, Bhagwan or Prabhu? Karu iman be sak thake ba pare. So, in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea. Answer the letter. ए मानुजन भगवान प्रति थका विश्वास देखी पोस्टमास्टर डिसाइड कर भांगी नपेल डिसाइड कर लेटर तो उत्तर दिया हम हाउ एंड हु उल रिप्लैम पढ़ी गले गम पा बट वेन हि ओपन डिट इट वज एविडेन्ट दैट टू आन्सार इट He needed something more than goodwill, ink, and paper. जेतिया तो envelope तो खुली ले, जेतिया तो letter तो खुली ले, तो ऐताको था bomb पाले, जेखाली ink, paper और goodwill एक इधर थके ले ही letter और reply दिपो पड़ा नज़ाब। But he stuck to his resolution. He asked for money from his employees. He himself gave part of his salary, and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. Now the postmaster he decided to give Lancho the desired amount of money, but he did not have the whole amount of money. They are so iman toka nasil. So they are kiko rile sabor pra collection korile. They are for postmaster employee pra sab collection korile. They are nijo nijo at salary abhag dile. They are friends dile. 
ভগবান ভাঙি যাও He put the money in an envelope addressed to Lancho and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. What did the postmaster do? He put the money in an envelope to the envelope to the envelope to the envelope and he put the money in 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 the envelope. আছে It was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of a man who had performed a good deed looked on from his office. Now when Lancho reached the post office, what did the postmaster do? Uh, sorry, what did the postman do? He, he handed over the letter to, the post, uh, to Lancho and said that yes, there is a letter for you. This is the letter. And, postmaster, and po- what did the postmaster do? He handed. kept looking the entire incident from his office he was very happy he was very happy because he had just done a good job so there was a smile of contentment so jetia post postman is jetia lancho letter to dile postmaster jone teo nijor cabin or pura gute drishyo to dekhi asil or teo monote khub bhal lagil karon teo khub aj eta khub bhal kaam korile so there was a smile of satisfaction Lancho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money such was his confidence but he became angry when he counted the money jete lancho letter letter to khuli le letter to khuli bine dekhi le ta more than 50 pesos ase so ta okono surprise ho na je bhagwan ta reply dile ta imane bishwas asil je bhagwan ta reply diboi ta bahut bishwas ta asil je bhagwan ta mok reply diboi so he was not at all surprised when he received the money Rather, he became angry when he counted the money. The Khong Uthi Gol Tiyar, Zitiya Tiyar, Man Toka Tu Gonti Gori Le. God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied Lancho what he had requested. The Lancho Bhabi said, Jai Bhagavan hai, Moi Jiman ki ni Toka Bishai Lo Tiyar Dibo Ek. Ta Iman Bishai Khasi Lo Bhagavan Ho Prat. Ta Bishai Koi Se, Jai Bhagavan hai, Toh Bhulu Kori Bo Nuhar Hai. Bhagavan hai, Counting Mistake Ke Nake Kori Bo. Bhagavan Toh Bhagavan Ho. Kitiya Bhul Kori Bo Nuhar Hai. Toh Ki Hol, Toka Bur Kod Gol. Immediately Lancho went up to the window to ask for paper and pen, ink. Logge logge Lancho post officer window sot gul, goipine manujana keta kagos aru kolometa bisari le. On the public writing table, he started to write with much wrinkling of his bro, caused, caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas. Ta khob khongat likhiya sa letter upon, ki bata likhiya sa ta. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stump which he licked and then affixed to the envelope with a blow on his fist. So, when he wrote a letter, he wrote a stump and wrote a letter 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 and wrote a letter. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox, the postmaster went to open it. এতিয়া যেতিয়া লেঞ্চৰ যেতিয়া নিজৰ লেটাৰটো লিখি পিনে পোষ্টমাষ্টৰ পোষ্ট মেইল বক্সটো সোমাই দিলে লগা লগ পোষ্টমাষ্টৰটো গল দেখি বলে যে কি লিখিলে লেঞ্চৰ সো ডেফিনেটলি পোষ্টমাষ্টৰ এক্সপেক্টেড এ থ্যাংক ইউ फ्रॉम লেঞ্চো বাট ইট হোয়াট ওয়াজ রিটেন ইউ সি ইটস এ গড অফ দা মানি দ্যাট আই আস্কড ফর অনলি 70 পেসোস রিচড মি সেন্ড মি দা রেস্ট সিন্স আই নিড ইট ভেরি মাচ But don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Lancho. What did Lancho write in the letter? Lancho wrote in the letter. 
যে ভগবান মত আপনার ওয়ান হান্ড্রেড পেসোজ বিচারি এশ পেসোজ বিচারি কিন্তু আপন ইয়াত যে মানে খালি সেভেন্টি পেসোজ পালো মানে খালি সত্তর পেসোজে পালো আপনি নেক্সট টাইম মোক বাকি টাকা খিনি পঠাই দিব দি কারণ মূর খুব দরকার হয়েছে টাকা বোর কিন্তু আপনি এটা কথা মনত রাখি যে মোক কিন্তু আপনি পোস্ট অফিসর মেল বক্স নপঠাব দি লেটার তো আপনি বাকি সেই টকা ত্রিশ পেসোজ আপনি বেলেগ কিনা একটা উপায় করে পঠাব কারণ এই পোস্ট অফিসর এমপ্লয়িজ বোর চুর হয় তলত লিখে দিছে লেন্ড শো তার মানে কি এটা দুঃখ তো কার গাত পড়িল পোস্ট অফিস এমপ্লয়িজ সো বিকজ লেন্ড শো হি থট that god has replied to my letter and i have asked god for 100 pesos and god has only sent me 70 pesos so he believed that the rest 30 pesos has been stolen by the post office employees but we know that actually that 30 pesos were the pesos which the postmaster could not collect from his employees so actually the post office employees did a very noble job but lancho he thought that they were a bunch of crooks. So this brings us to the end of our chapter, A Letter to God. Thank you.